If you watch my previous videos, you'll know I picked open this Chubb Cruiser and then I made a cutaway out of it. So today we're going to pick it open so you can actually see what's going on. I'll just show you the lock working one more time. Now I've set the camera up at a bit of a funny angle. I'm trying to get it so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to mess about first to make sure that nothing's going to be in the way. So if I hold it like that, now it's this when I put the wire in with her. This is going to be in the way. See, my fingers might be in the way. So it's not going to be easy because I'm sort of hovering over it. So anyway, let's have a go. We'll lift him up. You can see that's up in the air, but not fully up. But now it's moving. So we need to move on to the next lever. And it's just a case of touching all the levers up. Obviously, it's a lot easier to do. Now you can see what's happening. So you're just working on the levers, touching them all up, but very slightly. You notice that first lever now is going up. but It's going up slightly. It's not fully in position, but obviously it's a lot higher than it was to start with. And it's not giving you a, a full picture of how tricky this was. Now that back lever, now that's the one where the false gate is at the top. Now that back lever is now very hard to get up. So that's in a false gate. So I'm just wiggling it up. Did you hear that click? I went past the false gate then on that one. So now we're gonna go back to the front. That's not fully up yet. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Back to the front. And I find picking these locks is just about touching them all up very slightly. And just feeling for the ones what bind and then just touching them up a little bit and then moving on again to the next. Got another click out of that back lever. But notice that first lever still drops down. It's not ready yet. But it's slowly getting there. Another click. Sometimes when you see me, me wiggling it as well, it's because it's just jammed. So I'm just trying to sort of bounce it out. Look, I'm there, like that. Like I say, when you can see what you're doing, it's obviously a lot easier. That back one's up there. You get that sort of little bit of movement. So that back one, when you're in line, you get a little bit of movement. It's not too springy like that one. Like that. that second lever clicked in and I've got that little tiny bit of movement. Now back onto the front lever. The front lever's still not quite right. So there's obviously another lever what just needs touching up. So again, you're just going through them. And there you go, we get the open. So that is a Chubb Cruiser picked open. And you can see how I did it. Right, what I wanted to show you before we go is picking it closed. So to pick it closed, all you need to do, if I can get my wire in without getting out of the way, or in your way, I should say. Right, now to pick it closed, all we need to do is lift up that front lever like I showed you before. Because once you lift up your front lever, See, just that one lever, that'll close it back up again. So that's it. I hope that little demonstration uh, was enjoyable. And if you do want to make one of these, like I say, don't go too low with your cut or you'll do what I did. And that lever, the front lever will catch on it. So anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.